How about you? We're going to do things a little different today. I'm going to take a, I'm going to take you along uh, and get the kit, the pole barn kit that we're going to do, and uh, I'll show you that we're going to level these holes up. But the rain's coming, so we'll see if we can beat the rain. And uh, I'm going to, there's somebody missing in this video, and that's Sonny. Um, Sonny, they were supposed to stay with us for uh, three weeks, I think. Yeah, they were going to stay with us. My mom and and Sonny, my stepdad. Sonny's my stepdad. And uh, but they had an unexpected death in their family, so they had to hightail it back to the house in in North Carolina. So, Sonny, if you're watching this, we're praying for you, buddy, and uh, hope the family uh, is comforted during this time of loss. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and and pick up the pole barn kit, and so just come go with us. pick up the kit in the last video you saw the holes we we dug or whatever and so now we're on our way to actually pick up the kit and we'll unload it today but the rain's on the way so we'll go pick it up get it uh, unloaded right quick and, and hopefully the rain holds off while we while we uh get it unloaded and then we'll start the process of getting it put up y'all stick around surplus and salvage here in the booming metropolis of Chipley, Florida getting ready to get the kit so we'll uh, go in here and check in and get all the material
this hole, we put the line level on it. You can see the line level there. Yeah, it obviously wasn't on the ground to that post over there. And it's a foot drop. One, it's actually it's 12 inch drop to the note to the button there. So what we'll do is we'll make that hole there 12 inches deeper than that hole right there. And I just felt our first rain drop, so we're probably gonna call it good for today because it's just me and Gina today. Uh oh. Gina, you about to be in the picture. <laughs> huh? Don't hide your face. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> so it's a foot deeper on this side on this hole. Alright, we got a break in the rain, so we're going so we got about an hour, hour and a half before the radar shows more rain coming. So we're gonna try to we'll try to see these two posts. We'll see what happens. what we're going to do today we're going to uh this is the six by six by 16 post that's going to be our post for our pole barn i want to show you the process of how i actually put the post in the hole you saw a little bit of it earlier but i want to explain it how i did it and then once i get the once i get the post up i put the string on it so that the string is flat against the face of the pole and then I'll run this string all the way over to where the next pole is going to go and that will help keep the post in line and then I'll, I'll set the other two posts here and but I'll show you all that process and then but let me show you how I actually hook up the chain to my Mahindra 4540 so I can get the post set to the hole because those posts man they're super heavy and then we'll go ahead and spend the rest of the day getting the rest of the post up and you don't need to see me set every post but i'll show you at least how my technique is there's several other techniques i'm sure but i got some friends here to help us so here we go all right i want to show you how i, I go the process of hooking the post up to the to the tractor to raise it up first of all you want to put your chain uh high enough to where when you lift the tractor up the top end swings you know so your center of gravity is where it needs to be and then so you position the base of the post at the at the hole run the post parallel with your tractor because remember this top end of this post is going to swing up i actually put the chain on it i wrap it around twice so that it kind of cinches up on itself so it cinches up on itself so to speak like so and then I'll put the other end onto the attachment. If you have a bucket with hooks on it or anything like this. You know, this is just my technique. You know, I'm not a construction worker. First pole barn I ever built. So I'm trying to figure it out as I go. But we'll see if it works, right? So you want to get it to where it bites enough of the post to raise it, but also gives it enough wiggle room so that when it sets, when it gets vertical, it uh, it will slide through the chains, if you will. Also, did I mention that this has to be beside the tractor? Can't remember, but uh, did I? I can't remember. Yeah, I did. All right, because this end, this end over here is going to raise up, so you want it to miss the tractor. All right, cool. Let's do it. <laughs>
to get that butt end of that post into the hole to help it start to get vertical. So get your buddy to help you, get your wife to help you. If you got some granddaughters, get them to help you, whatever the case may be. <laughs> but anyway, now that I've got it vertical, what I'll do is now I'll start my alignment process. But we'll just kind of have the chain here to kind of help steady it. And I'll get the other post set. So we'll uh, go. I'm going to show you what I had to deal with today. And I'm going to do it the old military veteran way. Uh, any military veterans watching or active duty, we appreciate your service. Uh, and thanks for what you do for our country. We appreciate you. And if you're a military guy and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'm giving you an order and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, uh, hey, listen, let me show you in the dirt what we had to think about, okay? My trusses are designed so that they fit. They have a bracket, a brace that goes from inside the facing to inside the facing. So you have to make sure that that face and that face is square. And you have to make sure that this face and this face is square or parallel with each other or flush or whatever you want to call it. Because that's where my, my trusses will set on the inside, inside of these, right? 15 foot, one inch, one quarter from inside to inside. And so you got to measure that. Now I got to be 36 feet from here to here. Center of post to center of post. On mine, it's 36 feet. Oh, and by the way, my square, I have to make sure it's square. So these, all these have to face it. All these flat edges have to be parallel with each other or flush with each other or square with each other, I guess would be the best term to use. All right, so I get all that done, right? And now I have to think about the, the lay of the land. Let's see if I can come over here and make another high-speed diagram for you. All right, so here is my post sticking out of the ground. And if my, if my land drops, say my land drops, well, I still have to be, my post have to still be level with each other there. So I have to compensate the, the depth of the hole or I have to cut off one of the poles. So I have two options, but that has to be level there to compensate for the drop of the land or your roof line will be all jacked up. So anyway, hey, listen, I know that's kind of archaic. It looks like some hieroglyphics or something. But man, there's a lot to consider. Is everything square, level, plumb, flush, and all your poles the same height, everything on center. And it takes a lot to get this thing done. It's a lot to think about. I really wish, like I said earlier, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a construction worker. So uh, I'm just kind of making this up as I go. I think it needs to be, I know things have to be square. I know things have to be flush. So, <laughs> you know, and Gina's, she's the, the, the mind, the brains behind everything. So she's out here helping me figure it out. But anyway, so this is, uh, we'll set, we've got the four corner post set. We'll set the other two posts right here in a second. I'll just run a string. This, those are easy. You just run a string from one end to the other and make sure that you put a, the pole up against the string and the, the height of the pole is really what you have to concern yourself with. But anyway, so you get that done. Uh, and then my next video will be, I'll show you the trusses going on and all that stuff. Probably even the metal because not much more to do after that. Appreciate you watching. There's going to be a picture of the barn pop up here. I'd love for you to subscribe, comment, like. And you know, people are always saying, why is he asking people to like and comment and stuff like that? Well, it helps our search rankings on YouTube. So, uh, you know, we're trying to get the channel to grow, and we'd appreciate your support, especially by subscribing to us. So, uh, go ahead and click that barn, and uh, there's a, uh, you can follow us on Instagram, at Hamiltonville Farm. Facebook is Hamiltonville Farm. We'd love for you to come over there and check us out there. So, we appreciate you tagging along. Hopefully, you learned something. Hopefully, you're learning from some of my mistakes, and uh, you, can, you can not make the same mistakes I make. Until next time, take care. We'll see you later.